Hi, welcome to Matias Cooking Journal. Today we're going to make chicken cacciatore. It's a very simple dish, it's a quick dish, you don't spend too much time in the kitchen, you've got some fresh vegetables in there, and uh, we're using chicken thighs. You can use a breast, or you can use a drumstick, Dutch oven heating, whatever your family likes. What we're going to do so, is let's get uh, take the chicken and quickly dredge it in the flour and shake off any excess and quickly sear it. is, I need to season this a little bit, add some pepper, salt, quickly pan sear it, shake off any excess flour, add up a little bit, Ooh. get on to the next one. Now I've got chicken thighs here, deboned chicken thighs, you can use chicken breast if you wish. Quickly sear it. Shake off any excess flour and let's, let's cook these. Okay. Yeah, this is good. That's ready. That nice and brown. Now these won't take long to cook. They're kind of thin. Now if I was doing drumsticks, I would have to take some time to cook this. But these so are great. Now I'm going to leave the heat on there because we are going to get some the veggies. Peppers. Some green peppers are red. It really doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Slivers. Not too thin. And I'll just cut them again. And I also have, these are from the garden. Great. We just picked those. I've got some nice sweet onions. What do is chop them up a bit. Places here, and I've got some thyme. This also is from the garden. Pull it off this little woodsy stem. It's kind of tough to eat, so you need to clean that out. Yeah. Take that. Just gonna chop it up. All right, that's pretty good. Onion mixed up in there, it's fine. And I also have really, really long hot peppers. That's from the garden. I started chopping some. I'm going to finish off the rest. I'm going to put it in there, seeds and all. So it's got a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of heat. Put that in there. What I'm going to do is finish cutting off this basil. Got my fresh basil from the garden. It's great. You got it, you use it. Chop that up. Don't want to crush it too much. It just smells so good. Oh, you can always tell what time of year it is by the smell of the basil. Okay, now this is done. I thought I'll bring this vegetable over. Now we're going to add the onion. Get that in there. We're going to add the peppers. Nice red peppers. Stir that up. It's gonna be good. And you've got all those little chicken pieces at the bottom. Really good. And I'm gonna get some garlic. Look, I'm gonna add about now a tablespoon of garlic in there. Put that in there. I didn't add it before because I was afraid I was gonna burn it. So we add that. That'll be good. Mm. Take your chicken, lay it on top of your nice veggies there, a few peppers and onions. Now this chicken will continue cooking in here. There we go. All those juices in there. That is good. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the hot little chopped pepper that we did. Put that in there. 
along with the chopped thyme. Just going to add it in. And here I've got about a tablespoon of the small capers. I'm going to add that in. Those are really tasty. Stir that all up. Get it all in there. Okay, so now I've got here about um, probably about four cups of sauce. And that's not sauce, it's pureed tomato. Burned before it. And you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and add all four. There are four cups of tomato there because I make quite a bit of chicken in here. Now that looks good. Now, if you would like, you can add chicken stock if you wish. I might just come back and add a little bit of water. I've got no problem with that. And this will simmer down. And I'm going to go ahead and I had um, basil, chopped basil. I'm going to put it in there. And I want that to cook in there. Cover on it. We're going to leave it in there for about 20 minutes to a half hour. We'll check on it and uh, see how everything's coming together. All right, so this has been um, cooking for about 20 minutes. Now it's really, that looks so good. I'm going to lower this, check and I'm going to cook it for another that looks 10 good. minutes or so. And you've got enough sauce in here, and it's thickened. It's great. This is done. Now this smells so good. I can smell the hot pepper. The sweet peppers, the onions, the basil, you can, oh, it smells so good. All right. What I'm going to do is take some of this beautiful chicken, lay it all in there. Now, if you want, you could lay it over um, a bed of pasta if you want, or rice, or couscous, whatever you're in. It always smells so good in here when you make this. A few more pieces. We're done. Where is it? Last piece. Take some of that beautiful sauce, just drizzle it on top. And there you go. I'm going to take some parsley, a little bit of parsley all over. You can smell that basil cooking. And I like to add. A little bit of cheese. Now you can add more on your plate if you wish, or none at all. Pretty much your preference. And like I said, you could have this um, with pasta, without. Now I am going to sneak a piece. The corner here. Oh, that sauce. These peppers. Oops, get my pepper. It's so good, it's like... Mmm. Peppers are still crunchy. They haven't gone all mushy and overcooked. The chicken is perfectly cooked. It's moist. It's not dry. And the sauce has a little bit of that spice from that hot pepper. Absolutely delicious. A great meal for special occasion or any day. Enjoy.